A hobby based on radio waves may not sound cutting edge, but an international youth movement led by a Bruce County man is trying to change that perception of ham radio. CTV's Scott Miller reports. It's Victor Echo is free. Rob Noakes has been a ham radio operator for more than 30 years and knows exactly what the perception of his hobby is. A bunch of old guys sitting around in a dark room talking on a radio, right? But, yeah. And, you know, that's still the case in some in some instances, but not that's we're trying to change that perception. Kilowatt four. Through his own remote ham radio station, Noakes has started an international youth movement in his hobby. He recently gave his station over to 11 youngsters, seven young ladies and four young men from as far away as Serbia and Switzerland to operate remotely. Among them, Raisa Skrinakova from St. Petersburg, Russia. In our hobby, uh, mostly... Mostly it's a men hobby, but uh, I'm not agree with this position. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm sure that the, this hobby is wonderful for women too. Skrinakova started her own ham radio station a few years ago. She says it's a great way to meet people from around the world. For example, if you use uh, Zoom, uh, you could not uh, call to them to the person who uh, you don't know uh, and uh, say hello, <laughs> I'm Scott. <laughs> While talk of politics, religion and sex are usually off limits in the ham radio world, Skrinikova's Russian background has made for some more intense conversations over the past few months. I thought that in ham radio it uh, wouldn't be um, so difficult in this situation, but now I really feel uh, some uh, problems, uh, but of course, uh, all my problems are nothing uh, if we will compare with the problems from Ukraine side. Politics aside, Noak says his young ham radio operators from around the world are meeting fairly regularly through his remote station in tiny Inverhuron, trying to bridge a gap during difficult times. It's, it's relevant because uh, when all else fails, you have ham radio. Uh, back to your show, Ms. B3PCP. In Inver Huron, Scott Miller, CTV News.